I'm here now on the campus of Loyola University of Maryland. And Loyola is a name that can be somewhat confusing in college admissions and college searches because there are several of them. Uh, Loyola of New Orleans, Loyola of Chicago, Loyola Marymount. Um, as you might expect, these four institutions, as well as um, several, a dozen or so more, are members of the, sort of the Jesuit community of universities. Jesuit education was started by um, the Society of Jesus, not to evangelize and proselytize, but to educate. And so there are 21 universities in the United States that have a Jesuit model of education. Some of some big names, including uh, Boston College, Marquette, uh, all the Loyolas, of course. Um, the Jesuit model at Regis University in Denver, my hometown. Um, the idea here, here for the Jesuits is educating mind, body, and spirit. So you will find at Jesuit universities that uh, religion is taught. It's part of the requirement of uh, finishing your degree here. But it is not religion in the sense that you must believe in a certain set of, pre of religious precepts, but you need to uh, train your spirit, train your, think more about what it means to be a human being. Um, what are your, what is your responsibility to your fellow human? What is the responsibility to your community? And so you can take those required courses in all manner of religious thought, including religious ethics, Islam, Judaism, um, non, other non-Western religions. I mean, it's, uh, it's a fairly broad requirement, but again, the idea here is that will be taught in a religious context. Not that you must be a specific religion or that you must uh, ascribe to a certain set of beliefs. There are plenty of colleges that do require that kind of thing, but the Jesuits do not. So you'll find that the Jesuit universities, many of them are in uh, relatively urban areas like Loyola in Maryland and Baltimore. You'll find that they're sort of medium-sized universities uh, with graduate schools, um, as well as a solid undergraduate education. So um, when you start thinking about your own um, religious affiliation and your comfort zone in um, talking about those big issues of, of what is it to be human, what is our responsibility to, to our communities, um, even if you're not a religious person or you're not in the Catholic faith, the Jesuit universities are certainly a place where we're going to talk about God, we're going to talk about what it is to be spiritual, um, and that can be a really important part of an undergraduate.